welcome to tonight's Big Brother 15 recap. It's the always frustrating double eviction night. No more so than this season. The jury begins tonight. And the house kids are all like, oh my god, we all get more money, yay! Jury, jury, jury. All right, so Candace Spencer and Amanda are on the block. One of those chuckleheads is going to be the first member of the jury. All right, so flashback to earlier this week. Amanda is trying to be nice to Jessie because she knows that Jessie's trying to get her out and she needs to squash that. For like the fifth time, almost as many times as she tried to hook up in the house. So uh, Amanda, she's got mental issues. She thinks that Judd is the MVP. She's so paranoid. Yeah. So paranoid. She keeps going back to it. It seems like she settles it. She's like, okay, you're not. It's fine. You're not the MVP. And then she's like, Judd is the MVP. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bipolar. Yeah. So Jesse tries to get Amanda voted out again. She goes up to Judd. She's like, this needs to happen. Um, and Judd is like, I'm in an alliance with Amanda. He well, doesn't he say, say that. that. <laughs> but he is. He's in the goof troop. I know. But the sad thing is that Amanda is like, yeah, I'm loyal to the goof troop. Except for Judd. Yeah. That's sad. All right. So it's time for Julia to check in with the house guests. And she says, kids, this is going to be the biggest jury ever because it's the biggest cast ever. Mm -hmm. Nine on the jury. Now, she expects them to put two and two together. But these bunch of chuckles, they can't do the math so good. <laughs> they didn't get the common core. So... <laughs> She's got to say, that means it begins tonight. I think they knew that. <laughs> they didn't. I think they knew that. All right. So it's also double eviction, kids, as if you didn't know already. Because and you did. she also spilled that someone from the jury could be coming back, which I'm surprised she told them. Because, like, I could see her telling America, the audience, right. but I'm surprised that they had her tell the house guests that. <laughs> All right, well, it's time for the nominees to do their plea for their lives. Candyland is first. And it she got really ugly. It really it escalated quickly. It did. <laughs> Candace took this opportunity to get a couple of jabs in at Gina Marie because Gina Marie is a horrible person. I'm sorry, she is. Um, who's not really on this I don't know, but she's especially bad. So she's like, oh, well, uh, you're 33 years old, you live with your mom, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And Gina Marie's like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Julie tried to get control of the situation. It was all blah, 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 blah. Number one, because they're on live TV. Number two, because they're on freaking live TV. She's got to keep the schedule moving. The time's running out. There are some bad things being said, and she could not control it. Yeah. These ladies, and I use the term loosely, don't care about letting it all hang out, obviously. Someone <laughs> might have not told them that there were cameras here and this is live. I don't understand why Gina Marie pulled out that blue hat that's not even Nick's. And like she was like, this is Nick's! Like, what are you doing? Who cares? Okay. So Julie's like, settle down. And then she's like, Spencer, help. Yeah, so Spencer was like, well, thanks to my job for letting me do this. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. You kind Cornelius, I sit down. Thank okay. you. <laughs> and then Amanda says, Hi. I love you all. Hi. Uh, <laughs> so it's time to vote. And unfortunately, Candace is voted out unanimously, which totally sucks because I was hoping that it was going to be Amanda because well, it wasn't. I hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it just continued as Candace was leaving. Gina Marie was like, oh, at least my mom likes me, not like yours. That vile piece of S. For people who don't know, Candace was adopted. Yeah. And it's just, it's messed up. Vagina Marie, you've crossed the line. Again. Yeah. And again. It's like so, lightning striking yeah. again and again yeah. and again. All so right. it's time for Candyland to chat with Julie, and she's like, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. <laughs> and then Julie, of course, the little investigative reporter that she is, there was an awful lot of racism in the house. Um, how was that? Difficult. What do you think, Julie? You think it was a freaking teddy bear picnic in there? Yeah. 
So, so Julie couldn't really reveal any of the juicy tidbits about what's really happening in the house and outside of the house because somebody could be coming back. So at the end of the interview, she's like, goodbye for now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's HOH competition time. They're back in BB High School. <laughs> they really are, but it's almost more like middle school. And this was supposed to be summer school, which I'm sure many of them have experience with. All right, so Julie's got her questiones, and... It's the good old more or less competition. And let's just cut to the chase, because this is total bull shark. Uh, Aaron wins. A <sighs> Aaron wins HOH. Excuse me while I throw up in my mouth. <sighs> Worst case scenario played out. All yeah. right. Well, actually, probably worst would have been Helen, because Amanda. she would have been so stupid about it. But anyway, <laughs> they have a little strategy. Basically, Helen is the puppet master telling a Aaron what to do. Helen and Amanda. Right. They both got their strings in there. Yeah, okay. Their claws, their hooves, You got you the will. right arm with Amanda, the left <laughs> arm with Helen. Oh, boy. So, Julie starts barking out to the house Get guests. in the living room now! <laughs> <laughs> we want you in the living room now! Yeah. Hurry up! So she's like, Aaron, sit down. And then she's like, guess what, everyone? MVP's over. Aaron. I need to stay in, mother effers. <laughs> Aaron, stand up. Now, Aaron, pull your right string and tell, <laughs> tell us who they told you to put up. So she put up Jesse and Spencer. I'm not surprised. No. All right, so it's POV time, and the name of the competition is Nailed It! It's a puzzle. Basically, they have these giant tool bags full of... Tool bags? Tool boxes full <laughs> of nails, and they got to stick them in a freaking circle disc. They They're all different lengths and sizes, and they have to put them in the right... Whatever. So, <laughs> Julie got a little confused, and she called someone McRae, and I was she, like, wait. I think it was Judd. McRae's not in this. <laughs> Yeah, what was up with that? I, I think she was really rattled tonight because it was a short, you know, she had to keep everything moving. And because anything can happen. The three, <laughs> three, <laughs> the three extra players in this POV were blah, 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 yeah. Judd. Amanda. And Andy. Yes. Yes. All right, so A. Aaron wins it. You could tell that Aaron did not want to win either of these competitions because each time she won, she was like, <sighs> Yeah, she was all like... She's trying to fly under the radar, people. But it's it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. So she uses it to take Jesse off the block and, and put up Judd. And basically, basically, she's like, I'm being forced to do this. She's like, everyone except for two people told me to do this. So yeah. I'm gonna do it. <sighs> I all just... Right. Oh, my God. Okay, moving on. Pleadings. Spencer. This is crazy. Keep me. <laughs> Judd is like... What the F is going on? I know you want me to go now, but uh, change your vote. Change your vote. Change your vote. You change your vote. You're an idiot. You change your vote. Yeah. All right. So they do the vote, and freaking, like, everyone is crying. They're like, Judd is the best, but I'm going to vote him out. Alyssa is like, um, I don't want to vote him out, but everyone else is, so I will too. Yeah. And Amanda and Helen are all like, Amanda's like, Judd, Julie. And Helen's like, Jed! No, she was like, <laughs> Judd. Yeah. And Jesse was, like, laughing, but I can understand that because you wouldn't know if you only watched the show, but Judd has been treating Jesse like a bag of garbage. Yeah. This past week, so I'm not surprised there. Not a smart move on his part. Yeah. Um, so there's kind of an I told you so thing going on there, but still, these people, ugh, the tagline for this season should be like, Big Brother 15. Bah. <laughs> It's a bunch of sheep, plus yeah. Helen and Amanda. It's also a bag of garbage. It is. <laughs> it pretty much is. Like, bag of summer garbage. Like, it's got chicken skins in it, and it's been laying around in the sun, and it's not no party darty. Yeah, so right. party darty Judd was evicted unanimously, and he was not very nice to Alyssa or Jesse as he was leaving, yet he gave Aaron a huge hug. What's up with that? <sighs> He you're likes not, you're he not likes gone sheep. because of Alyssa. <laughs> he likes sheep. So don't get it twisted. All right. So Helen tells A. Aaron, you're Janelle. You're Janelle. She's giving her the old pep talk because I'm sure she's like ready to rip her brain out of her head if she could ever find it. <laughs> so then <laughs> Julie checks in with Judd. Hey, party darty, what's going on? Julie, I got blindsided. What the hell happened? Yeah, so she's like, uh, who do you think's running the house? He's like, um, Amanda and Helen. 
And then Julie's like, well, golly gee, at least you got your bear shirt on. <laughs> I don't get these people. Like, everyone who gets evicted says, like, oh, yeah, Amanda and Helen are running the house. You've had two weeks where you could have evicted Amanda. What are you doing? America, <laughs> you need to get rid of the head bitches in charge. And you know who that is. Who? Helen and Amanda. Didn't you just say that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm losing brain cells quickly here. This show's killing me because these right. people are so stupid. Well, I'm assuming they'll be doing the second HOH of the night right now. So, if you want to find out who won that crap show, <laughs> just look at the info for today's spoiler because we'll have it posted when they're done. And she'll have all the gory details tomorrow in her spoiler for tomorrow. And I'm sure the noms for, um, is tomorrow noms? Yes. Okay. Yes. Till tomorrow. Much, Much love. love.